So Google just released Google Workspace Agents and it allows you to manage and automate your inbox using AI. So today what I'm gonna do is show you how to get it and activate it and more importantly, show you how to create some introductory agents that are gonna allow you to better manage your inbox and also show you all the templates that it has available for you so you can use it. So stay tuned and build along with us. And if you come in, we're just gonna open up a new Google window and just type in Google Workspace Studio, okay? And then I'm gonna hit enter. And then from here, you're gonna see workspacegoogle.com studio. And it is gonna take you to basically the area that talks about all the different things you can do with agents. So it has how you can build them and it talks all the way about them here. It has use cases where you can prepare for a meeting, notify me when a meeting's coming, give me the summary on Gemini to get Gemini to do it. And I don't know if you know or not, but Gemini just recently got upgraded to 3.0 and 3.0 is by far one of my favorites right now. And I know it goes up and down and it switches between which AI is doing the best, but right now for coding and just logic based and reasoning, I think Google 3.0 is absolutely amazing. And we're not even getting into the image creation, and all that, that it does. You can translate items, you can auto label priority emails, you can save attachments to a drive, you can respond quickly to customers. And more importantly, it integrates with like beginning apps right now, like Asana, Jira, MailChimp and a couple of other ones that I'll go over and it's pretty darn cool. So what I want you to do is I want you to type in this address right here. I'll expand this so you can see it a little bit. You're going to type in studio.workspace.google.com and when you go in, you're going to notice that you're going to be into this screen. Now, as long as you have a paying Google Workspace account, you do have access to this studio. So what you're going to want to do is once you're in here, automatically log into your address right up here. When you do, you're gonna have a notice that you're gonna have a new agent in here, you're gonna have Discover and you're gonna have My Agents. You're also gonna have a bunch of templates in here that are kind of pre-made templates that are gonna allow you to do you know, a couple of things that they're actually suggesting that these agents can do. So you can get a deadly summary of unread emails, notify me about emails from key people, label emails from action items, notify me about your urgent emails, auto add email attachments to a drive, auto send reoccurring emails, start emails for follow-up, notify me about any messages with a certain keyword, and you can do it based on any emails that you get going into your inbox. Now, if you're doing for meetings, you can get pre-meeting briefs, and if you click on any of these, and we're gonna try to do this now, what you can do is, if there is a description based on the meeting, offset is 10 minutes, right before the meeting, decide, you know, you come in here, do these meetings, the notes include permanent or helpful details that will help prepare me for the meeting. Also return false if there's no meeting notes or no document provided. Now, if you're using some kind of CRM system like high level or anything else, and you're using this, you can actually have notes included, a lot of information in there, or if people fill out a form, you can have them fill out a form that then transcribes into notes. There's a lot of different ways to do that. And if it's true, you have a little decision tree, and then check if the decision is true, then summarize the actual email notes and you can give special instructions to Gemini the way you want it so it can give you prep for the meeting. You can notify in uh, chat and then you can add little sub steps to like send you an email, notify you in a different way, send you an email before this. I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do and that's just giving you an idea of what you can do in there. Hey, we want to interrupt this video for a quick little minute to just let you know that I hope you're enjoying this video. We want to thank you for being here, but more importantly, we are hoping that this content helps you do whatever you're trying to do inside a high level. We also want to let you know that you have options to get additional help. We offer a $197 a month VIP coaching program that includes four days of office hours, first come, first serve with Andy or myself, where we go in and we answer any of your questions that you might have live with the group setting for other people that are also working in high level. We also have a VIP group where we answer questions directly one-on-one -on -one with anybody posting in that group to give you the absolute best support. It also comes with a bunch of other features, including our funnel brick system, our little mini course, and more importantly, a couple guides that'll help you through this, and also including our SOP library that we use for pretty much everything inside of our agency. So thank you for this quick little minute, but more importantly, go back to the video, get whatever you need, and if you have any questions that we can answer inside the video, just drop a comment on the video and we'll make sure to answer whenever we get a chance. And now back to the show. Now, whenever you do these particular agents, they will come in here when you fully activate them. But let's go back to the discovery because there are some pretty cool ones over here. Also that you can connect with your team. So if you're using Google Meet or Google Chat and your different team members are using this, you can access that through your inbox and it comes with anything that's in Google Workspace. You can automatically have different things coming in through your Google Chat if you're automating that. 
And you can even create tasks based on that. For anybody using Google Tasks, this is another way that you can identify Google Tasks when in there. And what's really crazy about this is if you have Google Sheets and other Google kind of apps connected, you can actually get Google to activate those, you know, like a Google Sheet every time somebody fills out a lead form or anytime somebody comes in with a special email with a special word that it goes in there or emails from this particular person, you want to record them every single time in a Google Sheet. So there's a lot of really cool things you can do based on that and it goes in there. But enough being said, I'll kind of go over the one that I built and then we're going to build one or build maybe two or three just to kind of get you guys used to it. You can also ask Google Gemini to do it. I will say that there is some limits on this. So the prompt is only going to understand what Google Studio can do. And because this is still kind of very beta and new, it's going to be very limited on some of the actions that it can do. So I prefer to just kind of like tinker a little bit or use one of the pre-made ones because a lot of them make sense. But you can mess around with this and see if it's something that you know, is easier for you. So I'll go to my agents. So what I did is every now and again, I get emails that are written in Portuguese. Now, while my Portuguese is up and coming, I can't really read it. So sometimes I'll have like emails coming from certain people. So when those emails come from those individuals, I know that it's always going to be Portuguese. So what I do is I have it translate this emails to English. I should say these. And I let Gemini kind of do that. And then sources to use web, workspace, and connected apps, which means that any connected apps that I have that I'm pushing it to that, it will automatically do that. I always want to label it with a specific label. And then I want to send an email with the basically the content created from Gemini with all the descriptions and basically the summary and the translation so I can read the email and make it super easy for me. So that's just the basic one that I will want, right? So let's do some of these, right? So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hit create a new agent. All right. And I'm going to create a starter. And on the starter is when I get an email. So for instance, right now, for anybody that knows my good friend, Matt Ticino, Matt Ticino's doing Sasmus. It's just like his big email thing where he gives out a bunch of tips every day. I love collecting those emails. I think they got great quality. But what I want to do is I want to label them. And more importantly, I want to summarize what's in the email. And also at the same time, I want to get the link of whatever he's offering or whatever the final result is or the step-by-step, -step, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do from a specific email. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and grab the email address that I know it's coming from. So then every email that's going to come from that address, I'm going to put it over to the side and label it so I can keep track of all the emails and then get a summary after a month or a week. But we'll get into that in a second, right? So I grab the emails, it's going to be blurred out, but I'm going to put it over here and I post it in there. Now, anytime an email has the words and it has this right here, because this is a Sasmus kind of celebration, I want to make sure I save that. So I have it every time it comes from this and it has the word Sasmus. What I want to do is I want to create a label. So first thing I'm going to do is you can come in here. Now notice I'm in second step. And what I'll do is I'll come over here and I will say add label. And I'm going to hit a new label and I'm going to type in the Sasmus that he does. I'm going to hit create. And what I want to do is I want to add a label. So I clicked on the label and now that step two is done. So now that step two is done, I'm going to add the next step. What I want to do is come in here and ask Gemini. Please recap this email, and if it's a guide or a link, give me bullet points on what I need to do. All right? Now, because it's coming from this email, it already knows that it's about that email, and I can add a variable. I come in here, if I hit the plus sign, and I can go, oh, I can go to the email body that I'm pulling from step one. So I click on email body. And what it'll do is it's going to recap the email body because I hit the variables because that's all I really want, right? Then after that, I want to hit an add step and I want to go over to send email to myself. You know, again, and here I'll just type in the address, okay? And then when I type in the address is recap of Sasmus, okay? And the variable will be the response inside of Gemini. So now... You see, I have it kind of coming directly to me. I have the email comes in. I immediately add a label. I ask Gemini to interpret it. And then I have it send an email to me to fix Sasmus. And I can come over here and update the agent and I'll label it Sasmus. All right. So now I can turn this on and now I have an agent that's going to be doing this for me if it receives an email from there. Now, that is a pretty simple one. And again, you can get as complex as you want. And I'm going to go ahead and hit save changes. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and create another agent, right? So what if I have like a form, like a Google form? Now, the craziest part about this is, is anything that is Google related as far as when is she changes, make believe you got a lead coming into like a Google worksheet, or you have a form response that comes in from a form that people fit out. Now it has to be a Google form in order to do so, or based on a particular meeting that you have, you have all these different triggers that can activate on command based on the way the interaction is, right? So for instance, if I had a form and the second I select the form, I can come in here, it'll go to my Google Drive and it'll select a different form. Now, based on any of these forms that I have, let's make believe I have this job application and I'm gonna hit insert. Anytime somebody applies to one of my jobs that I have in there, what I wanna do is also run when a form response is edited. I don't wanna put that in there, but basically when this job application comes in, and I can ask Gemini to basically please review all the answers and see if this is a good candidate for a high level expert job. Okay, so I'm just gonna fix this is a good candidate for a high level expert job. Okay, and then come in here. And again, I need those variables because it needs to know where it's coming from. And I can just say, you know, which position are you interested in? And then also review the cover letter. Okay. Come over here, give it another variable. And I could do a per question. I could do the form response. And as far as I want to go and review all the answers and I can list all the answers, come over here, add a variable and I can do form response and so forth. Now, when that does, I can make a decision here, right? I'm going to say add step and check if is, we'll say is, we'll just say um, here and give us an answer of pass or fail. Okay. And then just because I wanted to add that step, then on the sub step where we are now going into if content ready created is pass, you know, I can then add a sub step and it should do it. And then I can add the first sub step, which is now send that information to me. So what I'm going to do is come over here, send email again, pick myself has the person that I want to send the email to. Now I'll just write it in. If it was a variable, I could do it. And I could just say good candidate found. Okay. And put a little here and I'll just put in the name of the person and then I'll put a little dash and then the email on the subject line. So then I know exactly what it is. And the message was the variable of the Google response. All right. And I can do it more. I can have two Google responses or whatever the case is, and then I'm ready to go. So if it's fail, I kind of don't want it going anywhere. I can maybe say archive. I can add a label at this point. I can add another sub step, like, you know, create a label of job applicant or whatever it is, like I can keep going on this and go on and on and on and on in order to do this. So you could see that I can put like, this is a job application. So now I have AI screening all these job applicants for me so that I don't have to do it. And I can give out a really good set of criteria in order to do so, all right? Now, for instance, if I wanted another agent and this one maybe I want to do on schedule every morning, what I want to do is Mondays at 8 o'clock, weekdays at, we'll say at 9 o'clock, all right? And every Monday through Friday, what I want to do is it repeats every day, right? Well, Mondays and weekdays and 5 and weekday, Monday through Friday. I'm just going to say weekly. And then if it starts today at 9 a.m., I'm going to do like a recap. So that's what I want to do, right? So I'm going to choose a step, recap unread emails. And look, it already gave me like one to do so. Time range, last seven days. All right. And I'm going to add a step that I can either send a webhook to another app or I can filter it or I can do other stuff. But I just want to send an email to myself. You know, again, what did I miss kind of thing to make sure I didn't miss anything and a recap of the week of emails. All right. Pretty cool, right? And then come over here, hit the variable, grab summary of unread emails, and I'm done. And I can just put in summary of unread emails. And now every Friday at nine o'clock, I'm gonna get all the ones that are unread and I can do a turn on and there you go. So ladies and gentlemen, pretty cool update. Really cool for you guys to try. Go ahead and take around with this. There's a lot of really cool ones that you can use as far as like some of the ones that they've already selected for you. But how cool of an update is this? Now you can have complete mastery over your inbox. So I hope you enjoyed this update and I'll see you in the next one.